critical, whether it's a buyer or a seller. Because until you understand what their motivations are and, and what their goals are, you can't really guide them sufficiently. Really try and understand what they're looking for. What are they going through? What's their motivation for buying or selling? Where do they really want to be? What's their comfort level? You know, it's a very emotional process and I think when they put a call, an email, a text out, they're hoping you're going to get back to them promptly. And that's what I strive for. When someone sends us a referral, we have to take care of it. And that is our biggest thing. And once you come into our, our, our little family, you're part of it. I like helping people. I know that sounds very cliche, but when you're dealing with purchasing a home or flippers or builders, I mean, we enjoy helping other people succeed. I'm not a salesperson, and I don't want to be. I don't want to sell you something. We really believe in custom client care. Mm -hmm. that everyone needs good service. All, every client we have yep. deserves our best. I'm going to read your thoughts. We work really hard in trying to identify what their goals and dreams are and go from there to fulfill it and to make it the easiest process as possible. The client was in the living room and I walked in and I went, because there were boxes everywhere and I knew there was no way she was going to be ready. So Joni and I went in and took all the boxes, started loading the cars, started making con calls for um, handy men to come up and help us get the house unloaded. We just rolled up our sleeves and began the whole process of helping her move out. We deal with people going through divorces. We deal with people who have just experienced a death in the family. We have to be there for them. As long as they feel you care about them and you're looking out for their best needs and interests, they'll, they'll come back. They remember how you made them feel. We're therapists, we're psychiatrists, we're um, house cleaners, we're a little bit of everything. Buyers who were referred to me came down from Boston to look for properties one day. It was a really hot day in the summer and they brought their dog. Hey, hey boy, get in there. Yeah, no, boy. I brought them to my house. My husband dog sat, the dog got to play with my dog in our fenced yard, and the buyers were absolutely thrilled. I was showing a house, and as soon as we opened the door, I said hello, and I got a hello back to me. So I said, Daniel Glucksman, Prudential Connecticut Realty, had a confirmed appointment, all this stuff. Mm. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, anybody home? I'm losing my mind, my client's losing my mind. Turn the corner and it's a parrot. This year we, we started something new and every month we are having gatherings. We've done a happy hour, we've done an art gallery. The happy hour one we had was great, it was a mix of our clients and it was great to see them interacting with each other. They didn't, they right. didn't and they pull did. off, they all talked and two of them are dating now. <laughs> Marta, will we ever see you again? I guarantee it. I'm, I'm old school. I send yearly calendars with handwritten notes because I think we have to be personal. We stay in touch and we have you know dates down of special events that are coming up for them and we'll make a phone call or drop a quick note and um, that kind of thing. Just so that they know we're always looking out for them. Of course, with every deal that we have, every transaction, every client we make, we grow. We grow in experience, we grow in knowledge. I got into it 27 years ago. After I was settled and, and got my house going, I built my own home, so I got a good idea of the construction process, etc. cetera. Um, I had decided that I loved it so much that I wanted to be able to help other people be able to purchase their first home and, you know, or second home and started from there. A friend was opening her own real estate business and came and asked me be, to be her assistant. And so that's how I jumped in and then really learned the business and decided that I wanted to actually be an agent and not an assistant. I come from a customer service background. I want to give you the best possible service I, pro I possibly can mm -hmm. and help you through the transaction. I got involved because uh, I started investing in real estate. I don't salute very well, you know, I mean, that's not, that's not what I do well. 
And so being my own boss, basically, as a realtor, was very, very appealing. I came from healthcare. <laughs> and this is better? Oh, uh, yeah, no one's dying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no filter. <laughs>